Oh, Fortress Craft, why are you crashing? Bollocks. Uh, hello everyone, this is Gazza9422 and we are back with our YouTube Let's Play Season 1. This is Episode 20. And I do apologise for the uh, black screen on loading. That was due to OBS and... Um, uh, Fortresscraft Evolved not liking each other when I, s I start recording. Hopefully they're okay, but for some reason it keeps crashing today. Be something to do with a new update, but yeah, I mean, last episode we crafted a second PTG in an attempt to increase the speed of extraction. We've got our matter movers. Got a little access hatch. Let's see what's going on down here. Okay, that's not too bad. Matter mover who is severely struggling for power. But it's not a lot we can do for the moment. So we're going to leave that as is, we're just going to collect wherever we can. And that's not a way out. Wait, what all was that? Tin, we don't want tin. Just going to box that off. surface again. <coughs> Still doesn't appear to be enough energy going down yet. There's those PTGs and the battery are still literally flatlining. So we're gonna keep our iron production going and of course that's gonna fill up first. Is pain in the backside how much energy that is using. So we're going to need to make a lot of PTGs. Because if that's only one matter mover, two is going to be ridiculous. So we've got a hive mind there. So that is going to be a major issue if I put a conveyor belt there. Another one there. So yeah, that's going to be fun and games. Oh, did that? Yeah, the water blocks disappeared now as well, that's cool. Okay, we're going to make this three blocks high, because otherwise we're not going to be able to walk on our conveyor belt. out might as well because if it's going to be so hungry on power we'll try and reduce 
how far we have to send it. So we're going to put our storage blocks there. Uh, storage hoppers as well, aren't they? Damn it! Right, we're going to need a lot more iron steel. Um, let's see what we can do. Goes there. Matter mover there. Rotate that. another hopper and a bunch of conveyor belts and that should slowly but surely automate our fire for a huge, huge, huge amount of power, unfortunately. Uh, have we got mini hoppers? No. Grab another mini hopper. Oh, Twitter. So yeah, storage hopper, that's going to be the next thing we need. And then possibly we're going to expand our PTGs again, so that's why we've got another mini hopper. Because clearly two are not going to go. Something like that. Have we got a turntable? No, we haven't. Because that would probably be more beneficial to have a turntable. 
I mean, don't get me wrong, that will work, but it's still not going to be as fast as if we had a turntable. And that should be perfect because it won't be in the way. PTG there, PTG there. So you'd be able to walk underneath it and still access everything. Sweet. left would help if we actually started collecting some of our iron wouldn't it Again. Sweet, right, we've got some iron now. Iron ore at least. And we'll whack that in the smelter. Uh, the full <laughs> Actually, we need about 20 because we need 10 to make a storage hopper and we need 10 to make two pyrothermics, I believe. Yeah, I need 10 for that. I think we might either make 9 or 10. We had 75, so that's at least 7. Sorry, at least 9. So, yeah, if we've got enough ore sitting in that hopper as well. We might have enough to make 10. Have we got a jetpack? No, that's in the other world. Probably why my jetpack's not working, because I don't currently have one. Right, we've got a bit more iron ore again. Not too much, but we've got a little bit more. enough to make one more, well two more pyrothermics and we'll worry about the hopper. And let's see how, we've only got basic drill motor at the moment. Process that, hard and ready. We need a lab don't we, we still haven't got a lab. Right, there we go, we've got our two PTGs and we're going to make a trans uh, a splitter conveyor, is it, or a conveyor turntable. Oh wow, we're going to get some energy first. I'm used to an eternal day world, so I forgot about all that. And 
I still say Rush Mode is epic. I've been playing that for a, for a while now. It's the only game mode I really play on now. Just gonna do that temporarily. And we want that to be like that. There we go. And of course I ran out of conveyor belts. Wouldn't be my stream if it wasn't. I don't like that conveyor belt touching the hopper because it will try and pull out of it and we don't want it to pull out of there. We want it to keep providing to the uh, hoppers. So we're just going to cover that up. Oh, screw it, we'll leave it uncovered. It's not too bad anyway. At least we've got a lot of power now. The only issue we're going to have is transmission rate. We need to get a better lens or maybe more transfer. Wait, yeah, we've not got into
don't have enough power to be concerned about where it's coming from. transfer speed without adding maybe a multiple energy transmitters and I don't really want to do that because then I just rethink the whole design and that would be a pain in the backside I suppose I could do it I'll just shift that over one no, I wouldn't do that. I'd have to shift it over this way. So, I'd have to move that over one block. Well, I'd move all of this over one. Just add another battery there. Then I'd have the two energy inputs going there. And I'd have a laser underneath running parallel. Or the one below it like I did in my other world. Right, we're going to disconnect that battery then. episode here so thank you all for watching and we'll be back very shortly bye for now hiya